This match will get red hot. You're up. This stage, we wanted to kind of to bring back some of the feeling of old fighting games, like where you have spectators in the background cheering everyone on. <laughs> there was nobody was taking sides. Since the theme of this overall is kind of Street Fighter 2, people have already found this like and quoted it, but like their intros are like a Ryu and Ken intro, which is why the the background was going to be that. That we're like if we're doing kind of like a little love letter to fighting games or to Street Fighter 2, we may as well make the background feel like the, the 90s arcade backgrounds were, which, not always Capcom, but this would almost be more SNK heavy, like uh, King of Fighters, like how every background always had to have like 10 people cheering. Yeah. And then some of it is just like classic, we wanted that madness, that 30s feeling, like the, like the couple with the guy with his fork and the knife staring at you. Like some people look like they're cheering and then they look like they're going to eat you. It's kind of beautiful. So basically, and of course they're not 100% spot on, but basically every attack sort of represents a Street Fighter II character. So like Rapid Hands, that Rapid Hands is kind of like Yohonda having Rapid Hands. It also has the same kind of foot stance. Uh, the fireballs are obviously like uh, Ryu and Ken. And then we wanted to go loose, so you're not 100% like, yes, that's it. But those are basically yoga fireflies. And then as they transition to the next form, we're like, how do you get Blanca in? And we're like, just put a roll. And then this part here is just, we tried to come up with something that would use the same way like a lariat would work, like two spinning arms. And we knew the pattern, we wanted wind blowing. So we're like, why not turn him into a fan? And very loosely, that is sort of from Sonic, Sonic Booms. Sonic like he has clap. the same like charge and then release. And then, so this was to try to get the four bosses sort of incorporated. It matched the theme of like being in kind of this weird nightclub-y place that you'd have a VLT, but sort of the boxer characters represented by the gambling machine. And then it wasn't so easy. It's not like the patterns you play are match how the characters are, but you get Tiger, which we just took from like Tiger Uppercut and Tiger Shots from Sagat. Bison is the American version of M. Bison, so that's why you get a Tiger, a Bison, and then uh, Vega or Claw, whatever you want to say, the snake tattoo on their body. And it didn't happen, but we were gonna have the first set of chips kind of have like a little bit of a roll to them as they come out, the green ones, to sort of match like how he does his bounce roll on the ground. I think there's like three or four more fighting game references that haven't been found. The people are like, this can't be all Street Fighter. And <laughs> it's too loose to just say a role as Blanca, but I mean, that's kind of how we did everything in the game that's a reference. It's never going to be distinctly them throwing an exact Hadouken and saying Hadouken, because that's just, we, we didn't that's want cheesy. to be a game like that. We just wanted to pay homage, like a little love letter to all old gaming and all animation by sneaking in minor things. I think this one, because fighting game communities are really tight and pick up on stuff, this got picked up on the fastest. 